Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a special video. I have Nicole Smith here with me. She is a makeup artist here in Phoenix, Arizona. And so today we are going to be doing a makeup look designed by Nicole. And it's kind of like a natural, a little bit of a soft natural yeah. plan for photos. Yeah, which I thought was great um, for my channel because I don't do a lot of like crazy makeup. It's usually like quick and natural. So that's what she's going to be showing on her channel today. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. So the first step we're going to start with is our skincare and our face. So I'm going to go ahead and go through with Jordan what her skincare type is and what her needs are. And more dry. And more dry. Perfect. So since she's more dry, we're going to be using the Tarte Brighter Days Brightening Moisturizer. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on the back of my hand. And we're going to grab a brush. And we're going to dip that in. And we're just going to start working that into her skin. Just for her extra uh, care, because Jordan looks a little tired, she's a pageant girl, so she's very busy all the time, uh, we're going to use the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. So what this is going to do, this pink pigment right here, is going to help cancel out any purple or tired eyes that she might have. So it'll hide any of the puffiness or um, sleep deprived look that she might have. So we're just going to take a little brush. We're just going to work this under her eyes and blend it into her skin. So because Jordan is on the drier side, we are going to be using Born This Way by Too Faced. This is a medium to full coverage. For photos of photographers, professional pictures, headshots, anything like that, stage, you want a medium to full coverage. The reason being is we want to hide any and all imperfections that you might have. So now we're going to take this with a beauty blender and we're just going to work it into her skin. So, like I said before about the neck, we're going to make sure that the neck is also blended into the foundation. So I'm going to have Jordan use your chin up. We're going to take whatever is left over on our beauty blender and we're just going to blend out. So now we are going to take concealer. So I have two favorite concealers. I have Tarte Shape Tape and I have Too Faced Born This Way. So again, this is infused with coconut water, so we're going to layer this under first and build coverage as needed. Go ahead and look up for me. Okay, we are going to spider web this out. The way I describe this to everyone is this is an upside down triangle that we are creating on your face. This is the portion of your face that we need to be bright. This is where a lot of people start to look tired. And then we're also going to highlight the areas of her face that we want to pop in photos. So we're going to spider web it out. I look at this like a tree. This is like the tree of life. It's giving her face life right now. We're going to put a little on her chin. And we're going to come over here on the other side and do the same thing. So you're gonna start from the inner corner and you're gonna go diagonally out and then you're gonna just form your triangle and then just fill in with whatever's left on the brush. And I like to make sure that this inner corner is really blended. This is where it gets a little cakey for some people and it's a telltale sign that, you know, they haven't fully blended their foundation. So for setting the foundation, I like to start with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It's a really finely milled silky powder. And this is going to be perfect because it's going to set her makeup without her looking cakey. So for a natural look, I'm just going to set under her eyes and basically follow along exactly where we've done it before with the concealer. We're going to go on a little upside down triangle. Go ahead and turn your head to me. And we are going to take a little brush like this. And what we're going to do for down her nose is we're just going to pack on a little bit of powder and just pat down her nose. This is also mapping for our face contouring. This is reverse contouring, if you think about it. We're highlighting, and then we're gonna go in and fill in the rest. It's kind of like a bit of a paint by number. And we're gonna set her chin, and just a little bit on her forehead. So my favorite bronzer slash contour is gonna be the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. This is Luminous Bronze Light. This is a lighter tone. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it. So again, it has that natural skin finish. And we are going to take an angled contour brush. We're just going to dip that in. And we are just going to fall along her cheekbones. So 
if you can turn your head for me. So basically what we're doing is we're going from the top of the ear and we're very gently swiping this contour on, just following along that cheekbone line. We don't want to get too crazy because again, we're going for a natural look. We just want to accentuate what she already has. Go ahead and bring it over here. And now we're just going to bring this around. And maybe some of you have heard the rule of three. So what you do is you start at the top in the middle of the forehead, you bring it down, swoop it under your chin, and then you swoop it back down under your jawline. That is the rule of three. That's how you hit your three major points that need to be brown skin contour. So one, two, and three. So for nose contour, I like to take a little bit of a fluffy brush. This is actually an elf brush. It's only $3, you can get it at Target. Some of my favorite brushes are some of the least expensive. So you can see that it's a straight brush. It's a little bit fluffy, but it's also very thin. This is perfect for shaping out your nose. So now we're gonna follow along where we've already set her nose. And right where you see that light color, we're gonna go right on the outside and gently go back and forth, up into her brow a little bit. So basically where we haven't set her makeup is where we're going to fill in. This is great for those of you who struggle with contour lines and where to contour. So what I'm doing is I'm contouring her nose slightly smaller than what it is to help give her a cute little button nose look, which she already has, but we're just gonna accentuate it for the pictures. So what I also like to do is I like to contour right under the tip of the nose. This gives it the pixie effect, and then just a little bit over to give it the button effect. And now her nose is contoured. So now we are ready to wipe away all the setting powder. So go ahead and close your eyes. And we're just going to dust that away. So because Jordan is a blonde and she does have gorgeous eyebrows, we're going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and Brow Definer in the color Taupe. So for blonde, I like to use taupe. I don't like to use it necessarily like the blonde color because it does have a lot of red. And you can see she has no red. She is not a strawberry blonde. She is more of an ashy blonde. I base it off of the root color. So you can see she's a little more ashy at the roots. So I'm going to take the brow wiz right now. And I'm going to brush her eyebrows in a downward motion. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with the top line. Just follow along her natural brow. So now we've shaped out her brow. And we're going to brush upwards. And we're going to draw out her line underneath. And now you can see her brows are beautifully filled in. So, what we're also gonna do is we're gonna shape them out. This is the high brow from Benefit. So I'm gonna have her look up for me a little bit and we're just gonna follow along under her eye. So we're gonna highlight her brow bone. All right, so now we're just going to feather this down. This is gonna help create a perfect line under her eyebrows. So now we're going to prep her eyeshadow. So for eye primer, I really like the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Cushion. This is one of my favorites. So, put a little on the back of our hand. Never close. We are going to be using the Tarte Light in Bloom. I love this palette because it's got some beautiful shimmers and it's got a lot of natural tones that I think will work really well for her. So, we are going to take the color Flower Child with a large flat head brush. And we're just going to set her eyelid in this color. Now you can see it's a super beautiful light color. And now we are going to take the color Charmer, which is a nice light color, almost a creamy white. And we're just going to set under her brow. or any great smoky eye. So now we're going to take a fluffy brush because she does have a bit of a shorter lid. We're gonna use a thin fluffy brush. We're not gonna use something that's too, too wide. Something like this would just take up too much and you lose less control. So this gives you more control and a little bit more color. So now we're gonna take the color Jet Setter and we're just going to tap off the excess. And we're just gonna work this into the crease a little bit. As you can 
be, it doesn't take up too much of her face and it's not the main focus. It's just accentuating what she already has. So if you have any edges where you feel like you've messed up or you've had an oops or you just have a lot of fallout, first thing you're going to want to do is you want to take a big fluffy brush and just weep away any excess that you might have. Then we're going to take a little bit of concealer. Layer on the edges. So a little bit of right there. And we're going to blend that out. And as you can see, our oops is already gone. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a super small smudgy brush. And this is actually a dollar brush from Elf. I'm obsessed with it. And we're going to take that first color, Flower Child. And we're going to mix it with Smarty Pants. I'm going to have Jordan look up. And we're just going to press it along her lash line. And give her a really light, smoky eye. And she is almost done. But I want to add a little pop of shimmer. So just a little something to give her a natural shimmer look. And we're just going to take the color Funny Girl. And we're just going to pack it on her little bit and her really lightly. It's a really beautiful, really light gold. For liner, we're going to use one of my drugstore favorites. Very fast drying. This is L'Oreal Voluminous Liner in Noir. And I'm going to have Jordan close. What we're going to do is we're going to line from her inner corner just to her outer corner, right along her lash line. It's a very small, small line. And it doesn't have to be perfect because what we're going to do is we're going to soften it with a little bit of our eyeshadow in a really dark brown. This is just adding a little bit of a darker base. So we just kept it right along her lash line. So this is for her um, eyelashes later, so that way we don't see the lash line because that's not cute for photos. So what I'm taking is Smoke Show and Activist and I'm mixing them. I'm drawing the clothes. And we're taking a small angle liner brush and we're just smoking that out along her lash line to give it a really, really soft look. For natural photos, you don't want anything that's going to be like a super harsh black line. So that's why we start with the eyeliner and then we soften it up with an eyeshadow. So for eyelashes, I have two favorites. I have Salon Perfect Demi Wispies and then I also have Kiss in number 11. These are really natural, really beautiful, and they fit almost anyone. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure these to her eye. We're going to take Duo Lash Glue with Vitamins. I really like this because it has a wand on the end. The wand makes it so much easier to apply the lash glue, especially if you're learning to do lashes or you're inexperienced like I was. This is like my immediate go-to for travel, for clients, because I don't have time to sit there and play with lash glue and squeeze it all out of the tube and make a mess, things like that. So I want a little bit of mascara. So you can put mascara on before you put your lashes on or you can put them on after. I prefer to do it after because I like to make sure that my lashes and my falsies are pushed together. So we're using Tarte Man Eater. And now we are ready go on to lips and finishing her face we're going to add a little bit of glow and a little bit of blush. So for blush I'm using this Becca palette that I bought at Ulta. We're going to use the color Whispery. I'm just going to take a blush brush and on the very apple of her cheeks right above the contour is where we're going to put the blush. And now we're going to use the Sun Dip Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is my favorite glow kit. I love how finely milled it is, and I love that it's really shimmery and less glittery. So we're going to use the color Summer mixed with Moonstone to give her a little bit of a natural glow. So just right along the tops of her cheeks, we're just going to very lightly dust this on. For lips, 
we are going to use this brand new bite pencil I just got. It is in the color 20. Um, bite just came out with these lip pencils and I'm obsessed with them. They're very creamy and they're also really great for being super precise. I love the natural color. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow along doing this natural lip line. Because we're doing natural, we're not going to overdraw. Rule of thumb, your lips and your cheeks need to match. So if you're going to have a red lip, you need to have a blush that can counteract that red and complement it versus compete with it. So I'm going to have Jordan pop her lip down. And we're just going to fill in and go over our liner. And now Jordan is photo shoot ready. So that's it for today's video. Thanks guys so much for watching. Thank you Nicole for Thank being a part of it. That she does amazing makeup. So I am going to leave all of her socials down below in the down bar as well as mine. Um, and then definitely go check out Nicole's channel. I'll link it right here right now. And you can go to her channel to see our second makeup look where she does a glam cut crease. And it was literally so pretty. So make sure to go check out her channel, subscribe, and if you are in need of any makeup in Phoenix or I guess now anywhere country, pretty much. She travels me. a lot, yeah. Yeah, send me an email. Yeah, perfect. So thanks guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.